bad beginning is a good ending. Certainly. If at first you don't succeed, keep on sucking till you do succeed. Yeah. Hey everybody, what's going on? Hope you guys are doing good. I am doing just great. Today I received a package from one of our YouTube friends. And I'm going to unbox it right now. I already know what it is. And uh, I already know kind of what has to be done. So let's get this thing open. He taped it very, very well. I guess he didn't want this thing to fall out of the box. Which is fine with me because you know what? I'd rather be safe and sorry as far as losing something I cut this quite a few times I'm not really getting in there there you go put the razor blade away hopefully there's no pecking peanuts in here oh good my friend Mr. Bobo Wraps alright so here we go oh this is the neck off of his custom guitar that he made and let's see here yeah was that cracked I kind of stick my finger in there I think he glued that in so it's got a zero fret and wow these guys are pretty low and this fret here is really chewed up. This one's really chewed up. Wow, when he said somebody used this neck for target practice, he was kidding. All right, so make sure there's nothing else in here. Probably reuse all this cover wrap. If not, I got a whole mess of it. Okay, I'm gonna need that, but not right now. I can already see that this neck is in pretty bad shape. So this truss rod will work. All right, we got a little bit of a center drop in here. So let's kind of give this thing a few cranks. All right, so now I'm loosening the truss rod, and it is completely loose to where I could probably remove the nut. Yep, so this is not a two-way truss rod. All right, so I've got just a little bit of tension on here. There's no back bow, and I'm still not completely flat. All right, so let's give this some couple of turns here. Still not completely flat. I got a little bit of a bounce between. I think that's going to add relief, right? Or is that going to straighten it out? All right, something is definitely not right with this neck. Those cranks took care of the center. Right, so I got a little bit on you know they say not to oil your neck or your truss rod so then I have to put up with that noise <coughs> all right so I got a little bit 
tiny bit of a bounce, not much. All right, that little bit that I turned it took care of that. You know, I was thinking. Quiet. So the frets have been plucked, I gave the neck a back bow and pulled them out. It wasn't that that hard, it wasn't that easy, it took about 15 minutes to do. And there is like next to no chip out on here at all. There is no glue remnants that I could tell of any inside of the fret or, or on the fret or in the fret slot. But there is some rubbing compound or some type of a chrome polish that I see remnants of it got underneath the fret which is not that big of a deal. So I sent an email to the owner of this neck asking if he wants to continue to have the zero fret. It's not that big of a deal to put back on and uh, or to make or whatever. Um, but doing some research on zero frets and stuff, apparently, like many, many moons ago, what they used to do with uh, a zero fret is that was your nut and that was it. You didn't have anything that was holding the strings in place and keeping the strings separate from each other, like string spacing. And you had to be careful while playing that instrument because the strings would move on you and throw you out of tune. So then later on, somebody came up and said, okay, well, we'll keep the zero fret, but we'll put a nut in its place and that'll keep the string spacing and everything where it's supposed to be. So reading on about zero frets, um, with or without, I mean, it's an, a little bit of a argument, I guess you can kind of say. Some people say that, oh, there's a big difference with the zero fret, and some people say, oh, only a dog is going to hear that difference. So I sent them an email asking, do you want the zero fret, or do you want me to remove the zero fret, which only consists of cutting this down, and cutting and sawing it down all the way to here where the nut would be and then just removing that piece of material and then putting the nut in its place that will take care of uh you know scale length and everything else to keep it what it's supposed to be like this one here is supposed to be a uh what's it a 24 24 and three quarters i think it was 24 and 3 quarter scale length on this. So that's not going to change anything with this. Now the next part of this is going to be getting rid of the burrs and everything that kind of like pulled the wooden material up a little bit as I was plucking out the fret and then cleaning up the fretboard at the same time. I checked this thing out. It is a 12 inch radius and it's a perfect 12 inch radius. So all I gotta do is just use my 12 inch radius block and go ahead and start giving it a little bit of sand. Now, one thing about the 12 inch radius box is you wanna make sure that you're, you're securing, you have no air bubbles underneath your sandpaper because that could cause changes. Any debris that's underneath here that's stuck onto the wood, and if you didn't clean that off, that can cause changes as well. Also, this area here, where the paper is kind of overlapping. If that's not completely secured and flat, which I always kind of bend it a little bit and making sure it's secured, and it's also got the radius, that can cause changes as well in your fretboard itself. So I'm not gonna apply any pressure. I'm just gonna run this over. Success. 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 All right, so what I'm doing right now is checking the depth of the fret slots. Since this is a 12 inch radius, I am using the 10 to 14 to measure. And what this has is it's got some lines on it that show you basically the depth of where you should be. And nice fretboard, huh? Came out really nice, all cleaned up just have to be careful because the binding on this is pretty brittle and I already chipped off a little piece over here and had to glue it back on so I hope he doesn't mind if I take a little sandpaper and smooth this out over here so 
shouldn't disrupt anything that he's got going on on here all right so this is done right now be watching for an update on the Ibanez s520 uh, EX and I uh, got some paint uh, paint thing going on with that and here's a little bit of the I don't know the meanest guitar player It's not my day for doing this one. I want to move on. Oh. Every time I get so fucking far! I'm not doing it. 